and these are the Kid Vision Kids, and we're here today to find out about working with wood. My name is Ariel, Ariel Rivera. Thank you for coming to PGI Services. We're really happy that you're here, and we're gonna to try to show you everything that we know. Terrific, let's okay. go. Let's do it. Wow, this is an awesome shop. But when we walk into this shop, the first thing we see is a lot of big machines. So it would be great if we learned the names of the machines and what they were actually used for. But before we do that, safety first, and that's why you have on your goggles. What are they protecting? The eyes. The other safety thing we have are earplugs. Why would you wear earplugs? Because of the loudness. Because of the loudness. Right behind you is the table saw. I can say that it's probably the most important tool in the shop because that one we use for trimming down, cutting parts, reduce the sizes. So what's the name of that machine? Table saw. Good job. The next machine that we're gonna talk about is the wood planer. It makes it the right thickness, correct? This one is the one that we are used to bring down the wood to the exact dimension. Okay, do you remember what the name of that was? Wood planer. Good job. The next machine is a miter saw. It's the one that we use to do angle cuts on the wood. For example, when you have to build a frame and it has to be square in 45 degrees, that's the machine that we use to give it that nice cut that put them together really tight. And another machine very, very important in this industry is the band saw. It's called band saw because the saw is all the way down and round. And then that's the one that we use to do cuts in different shapes. Any other machines we Oh, have? yes. Oh. Belt sander, giving the nice finish in the wood. So a belt sander makes the wood that you're working with nice and smooth. It's called a... Belt sander. And what other machines do we have? Drill press. It's a standard drill, and it's the one that you use to open holes. Now we're going to talk about the hand tools to work with wood. Take out your hammer. Let's take out your flathead screwdriver. It has a flat head. There you go. This is called a Phillips head screwdriver. It has, it's more round and it has some edges in it. Put out your Phillips head screwdriver. Another thing a good carpenter needs is a tape measure. Put out your tape measure. You need a pencil to mark what you're doing. And the last thing we have, this is sandpaper, because you always want to make sure that your wood piece is nice and smooth. So put that down. So who can name a tool that goes in a toolbox? Flathead. A flathead, everyone put your flathead back. The measuring tape. Measuring tape, put your measuring tape back. A hammer, put your hammers back. The pencil. The pencil, put the pencil back. What's the last piece of equipment? Hand Zip. tool? Sandpaper. And we are ready to work with our wood. Okay, put on your goggles. You have the wood block, it's gonna do the flat one first. Put it on, and you put it on top of the flat screwdriver. Turn it to the Turn right. Turn it to the right, and that screws it in. Okay. You have to put pressure. Now let's take the other screw, which is the Phillips head screwdriver, and if you look at the screw itself, it has an X in it. You put your hand to hold them up, and then do the first round by hand. You're doing a great job. Wow, looks really good. good. All right, so now let's try a hammer and nails. You notice that this corner right here, this one you put it and hold it by hand. You have to hold it with your hand. That's why you then, have gloves on. Then you do that little first tap, and tap, then you tap. move your hand away. Okay, shoot. Here, are you ready? I'll get you okay. started. Let me give you a hand with that. Do you feel good about the tools? Yeah. All right, thumbs up. Good job.
It's important to learn about measuring because when you're creating or building something, you need to know its proper measurements so you can build it correctly. The first thing to, about measuring is about the measuring tape. You need to know how to read it. All those numbers is the one that we're going to have to be looking at when we measure the wood to know exactly the width, the thickness, and the length of the wood. That's very important when you're going to do any work because then that way you know how much wood you're going to need. First this one, from side to side. That's how wide, the width is how wide. Is three and? A half. Three and, right, three and a half. How thick is it? The thickness comes next. That's the number one. And the next one, which one is? Half. Half, so it's, it's half. one and a half. Here, it's one and a half. Okay. So now we put an X, right? You put an X. That means by. The next measurement we take is the length. How long is it? And Dean, it's your turn. Are you ready to measure it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. How long is it? Seven. Seven inches. So we'll put by seven. So the piece of wood that we're doing our project in is three and a half inches wide, one and a half inches thick, and seven inches long. I think we're ready to make our project. We're going to make a board game. Why do you think we call it a board game? Because it's made out of wood. Rails and it's wood. Right, because it's made out of wood and wood is a board. And so how we're going to play this game is kind of a dot to dot game. We're going to use, what kind of screwdriver is a this? A flat head. Flat head. Flat head. And but, Phillips head. And Phillips head. And we have flat head and Phillips head screws. And we have already pre-drilled holes in. And you're going to work all over your board and put all your flathead and Phillips head screws in. And then you're going to connect them using rubber bands. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Ready, set, start. of our new carpenters. We really learned a lot today about working with wood. I want to thank OP Yacht Services and thank you so much for teaching us about how to be good carpenters. You guys enjoyed it? Yeah! Love it? Yes. You know what? I'm going to keep your numbers because we can always need good carpenters. Yes. Thank you for coming and for being with us. Thank you. Yes, you are quite welcome. Bye!